So, bankrupt Birmingham Council plans to raise council tax by 21%. Yes, you heard that right, 21% in the next two years in order to slash public spending by about £300 million. Now, if you're currently sitting in Edgbaston counting your pennies, you better start again. The Labour-run authority is being forced to make cuts to claw its way out of a deep funding crisis after declaring itself in financial ruins just last year. As part of the big budget cuts, waste will only be collected every two weeks, streetlights will be dimmed and burial costs are set to increase. Visit Birmingham are currently updating their website in a desperate attempt to attract new visitors. Good luck with that. The authority laid out its plans, which will see cuts of £150 million this year and the same amount in 2025 and 2026, as well as 600 job losses. Labour Council leader John Cotton said he was presenting the budget with a heavy heart but has made no mention of the authorities' incompetence or that £760 million bill to settle equal pay claims, which some are linking to the arrears. Meanwhile, it doesn't look good for the rest of the country either. New data has revealed that a whopping 95% of councils have decided to raise council tax by the maximum amount of £103 in the next year. This is amid a crisis in local authority funding. Thurrock, Croydon, Slough and Northamptonshire have all issued financial warnings in recent years. Thurrock issued a notice at the end of 2022 and said the funding gap was as a result of financial losses from the council's investments. Yep, more ineptitude. Council tax is used to pay for vital local services, of course. Schools, rubbish cycling, rubbishing, rubbish collections, recycling, collections and libraries, as well as services provided by other organisations like the police, fire brigade and transport. But as the cost of living continues to rise, should the people of Birmingham have to pay for incompetence and negligence by officials? And should the rest of us endure higher taxes for fewer services? I want to know what it's like in your local authority. Do you get or do you sense you get value for money? 